Welcome back, Vikings, and good morning. November, can you believe it? Today is Monday, November 1st. Did you know that today is National Men Make Dinner Day? No takeout, guys, you actually have to cook a meal. And from our interesting fact files, did you know that a pangram is a sentence that uses every letter of the alphabet? Here's one example. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Auditions for this year's musical Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat will take place Monday, November 15th in the auditorium. Information and materials are available outside Mrs. Trisister's room. There's also a code for Google Classroom posted on her door. Please join for additional information and resources. Today is DJ for all the classes. Please thank for a moment of silence. All about a player. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Today's weather is expected to be partly sunny with a high of 50 degrees. If you see Cadence Bobby today, be sure to wish her a happy birthday. Lunch for today is chicken nuggets or stuffed crust pizza. Tuesday's breakfast will include banana bread. A representative from the University of Pittsburgh at Johnstown will visit our lunches on Thursday, November 4th. If you're interested in that school, please stop at their table for more information. And finally, we leave you with today's joke of the day. Sometimes I tuck my knees into my chest and lean forward. That's just how I roll. Have a great day, everyone. See, See you back, back here. Tomorrow. Welcome to SmartPass. This is going to be a short tutorial on how to use SmartPass as a student. First, we'll go over your homepage and how to make a hall pass. Then I'll show you how to make requests to your teachers for locked rooms. To create a hall pass, first click on the green Pass for Now button. Then select where you are in the school. In this case, I know I'm in Ms. Hoover's room room A101, so I will click on Hoover. Now you can click on where you want to go. Here I'm going to click on any room without a lock icon, in this case the water fountain. Then just estimate how long you'll need with the slider, then click start pass. And that's about it. Now you have an active hall pass. You can leave your device at your desk and leave the room like usual. Once you get back to the room, be sure to click on the end pass button. If your pass goes over time, it will go red and start counting up, so make sure to end it. Your teacher can always see the passes you make. Now that you've ended your first hall pass, you can see all of your previous passes on the expired passes page. Click on a pass to see more information about it. That's about it for creating normal hall passes. Smart Pass is a simple and easy system to use on the daily. Next, I'll show you how to favorite your schedule so that the rooms you use most are easy to find. First, find the Settings button in SmartPass. This will either be at the top right or the top left of your screen, depending. Then, click on Favorites. Look for the room that you want to favorite. In this case, I want to favorite room A102. And then click on the Star button to favorite it. Now, when I create a pass, I see all my favorites at the top, so they're easy to find. Next, we'll go over how to send a hall pass request for locked rooms. Again, I'm going to click on where I'm going. And in this case, I'm going to click on a destination. In this case, the library, which is locked, which you can see here on the top right corner. When you want to go to a room with a lock icon in SmartPass, you have to get permission from one of your teachers. So when I click on this locked room, I either need to search for or tap on the teacher I want to send the request to, or in this case, the teacher is pre-selected for me, so I don't have to do anything. Then, I just type in a message for why I want to go to that room. Hit next. I adjust the time for how much I'll need in the hall, and I send the request. Once you click the send request button, your request has been sent to the teacher, 
and is waiting on them to approve it. You can always cancel the request by hitting the trash icon at the top right corner. And once the teacher approves the request, it will switch into an active hall pass, and then you can go ahead and leave the room like usual. If you need to visit a teacher in the future, like to make up a test, click the future button on the homepage. Then select the date and time for when you need to go. Where you will be at that time, in this case, tomorrow at 3.34, I know I'm gonna be in A102, and where I'm going, so I wanna to go to the library. You can add a message, and then you can send the request. Once the request has been sent to the teacher, your teacher will approve it and you will get a scheduled pass. You can see the scheduled passes on the right side of your screen under the requests section. If you click on the pass, you can see more information about it and you can always delete the requests by clicking on the trash icon. After the teacher approves the request, your request will turn into a scheduled pass. At the scheduled time, your hall pass will activate and you can show it to your current teacher so you can leave the room and make up your test. That's about it for this tutorial. If you ever need more help, you can visit our website at www.smartpass.app to read our support articles or rewatch this video.